good morning and welcome to this time of morning prayer as we begin our day afresh in the presence of the Lord. I'm going to begin today with a beautiful canticle called the Song of Anselm. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us, and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labour we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy heal us. In your love and tenderness remake us. In your compassion bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mount, mountain beautiful in elevation is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great king. Within its citadels, God has shown himself a sure defense. Then the kings assembled, they came together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic and they took to flight. Trembling took hold of them there, pains as of a woman in labour, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, which God establishes forever. We ponder your steadfast love, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your name, O God, like your praise, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with victory. Let Mount Zion be glad. Let the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments. Walk about Zion, go all around it. Count its towers. Consider well its ramparts. Go through its citadels. That you may tell the next generation that this is God, our God, forever and ever. He will be our guide forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 20, and beginning at the first verse. David fled from Naioth in Ramah, he came before Jonathan and said, What have I done? What is my guilt? And what is my sin against your father that he is trying to take my life? He said to him, Perish the thought. You shall not die. My father does nothing, either great or small, without disclosing it to me. And why should my father hide this from me? Never. But David also swore, Your father knows well that you like me. And he thinks, do not let Jonathan know this, or he will be grieved. But truly as the Lord lives, and you yourself live, there is but a step between us. Then Jonathan said to David, whatever you say, I will do for you. And so David said to Jonathan, tomorrow is the new moon, and I shall not fail to sit with the king at the meal. But let me go, so that I may hide in the field until the third evening. If your father misses me at all, then say, David, earnestly ask leave of me to run to Bethlehem, his city, 
for there is a yearly sacrifice there for all the family. If he says good, then it will be well with your servant. But if he is angry, then you know that evil has been determined by him. Therefore deal kindly with your servant, for you have brought your servant into a sacred covenant with you. But if there is guilt in me, kill me yourself. Why should you bring me to your father? Jonathan said, Far be it from you. If I knew that it was decided by my father that evil should come upon you, would I not tell you? Then David said to Jonathan, Who will tell me if your father answers you harshly? Jonathan replied to David, Come, let us go into the field. And so they both went into the field. Jonathan said to David, By the Lord, the God of Israel, when I have sounded out my father about this time tomorrow, or on the third day, if he is well deposed towards David, shall I not then send and disclose it to you? But if my father intends to do you harm, the Lord so do to Jonathan, and more also, if I do not disclose it to you, and send you away, so that you may go in safety. May the Lord be with you, as he has been with my father. If I am still alive, show me the faithful love of the Lord. But if I die, never cut off your faithful love from my house, even if the Lord were to cut off every one of the enemies of David from the face of the earth. Thus Jonathan made a covenant with the house of David, saying, May the Lord seek out the enemies of David. And Jonathan made David swear again by his love for him, for he loved him as he loved his own life. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For the Lord shall go out from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, and beginning at verse 15. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers. Together, the crowd numbered about 120 people. And he said, friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled when the Holy Spirit through David foretold concerning Jesus, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered against us and was allotted his share in this ministry. Now this man acquired a field with the reward of his wickedness and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his bowels gushed out. This became known to all the residents of Jerusalem, so that the field was called in their language, Hakaleidama, which is a field of blood. For it is written in the Psalms, let his homestead become desolate, and let there be no one to live in it, and let another take his position of overseer. So one of the men who had accompanied us throughout the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness to us, with us, sorry, to his resurrection. And so they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. And so we say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. 
to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so let us pray. That this and all our days may be full of your praise. We pray to you, O Lord that you will keep us this day without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with all your saints to everlasting glory. We pray to you, O Lord. And so let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray this day to the mercy and protection of God. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.